What if the greatest art heist in history remains unsolved even after three decades? Intriguing, isn't it? Picture this. The year is 1990, and the world wakes up to the news of an audacious theft at the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum. This is no ordinary burglary. It's the most expensive fine art heist in world history. Treasured artworks, creations of renowned masters such as Rembrandt, Vermeer, Degas, and Manet, vanish into thin air. The value of these pilfered masterpieces is immeasurable. Their loss, a gaping void in the art world. This is not just a theft, it's a mystery, a labyrinth of unanswered questions and untraceable leads. And it's been that way for over three decades. So, are you ready to delve into the shadows of this enigma? Let's dive into the enigmatic world of this unsolved mystery. The year was 1990, the city Boston, the target, the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum. Now, let's delve into the details of this audacious heist that has remained an unsolved mystery for over three decades. On the night of March 18, 1990, an event unfolded that would forever change the art world. Two men, dressed as police officers, arrived at the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum. They claimed they were responding to a disturbance call. Once inside, they swiftly tied up the guards and plunged the museum into darkness. This was no impromptu burglary. The thieves had inside information. They seemed to know the layout of the museum, the whereabouts of the security cameras, and even the museum's policy of not having a night watch. They moved with precision, targeting specific artworks. The loot they made off with was staggering. Thirteen artworks including masterpieces by revered artists like Rembrandt, Vermeer, Degas, and Manet, were stripped from their frames. The thieves even took the time to unscrew two ancient Chinese vases, and a Napoleonic finial from their display cases. Each piece was selected with an understanding of its value and significance. The estimated value of the stolen art was a whopping half a billion dollars, making it the most expensive fine art heist in the world. This was no small-time operation, this was a meticulously planned and executed theft that shook the very foundations of the art world. Yet, despite the audacity of the heist, and the value of the stolen art, the thieves left no trace, no fingerprints, no DNA, no identifiable surveillance footage, they vanished into the darkness from whence they came, leaving behind empty frames and a mystery that continues to perplex investigators to this day. By the time the sun rose, 13 masterpieces were missing, leaving the art world in shock and disbelief. The question on everyone's lips was, who could have pulled off such a daring heist? And more importantly, where were the stolen masterpieces now? As the dust settled, the question remained, who could have pulled off such a daring heist? The FBI swung into action almost immediately, launching an investigation that would span several decades. The audacity and precision of the thieves suggested they had inside information, which opened up a plethora of possibilities. Was it an inside job, or perhaps the work of a sophisticated crime syndicate? The role of organized crime in the heist cannot be overlooked. During the 80s and 90s the art market became a veritable playground for the underworld, with stolen artworks used as collateral in illicit deals. Was the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum heist another chapter in this murky underworld saga? One theory suggests that the stolen art might have been used as a get-out-of-jail-free card. Art theft, as it turns out, can be a very effective bargaining chip when negotiating with law enforcement agencies. A notorious criminal could potentially offer to return a stolen masterpiece in exchange for a reduced sentence. Then there's the theory that the stolen art might still be out there, hanging on someone's wall, its true identity masked by a clever forgery. Art forgery is a thriving industry in itself, with master forgers capable of creating work so convincing that even experts can be fooled. The most tantalizing theory of all, however, is that the stolen artworks might still be hidden somewhere, waiting to be discovered. Could they be tucked away in a forgotten attic or hidden behind a false wall just waiting for someone to stumble upon them? Of course, these are all just theories. The FBI investigation is still ongoing and while they've followed countless leads, they've yet to crack the case wide open. Despite the best efforts, the trail went cold, leaving us with more questions than answers. Over 30 years have passed, yet the mystery continues to baffle investigators and art enthusiasts worldwide. The Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum art heist, the world's most expensive fine art heist, remains unsolved. The FBI case is still active, tirelessly seeking leads and potentially recovering the stolen artwork. This unsolved mystery has had a profound impact on the art world, leading to heightened security measures in museums globally. The enigma has also captured the public's imagination, inspiring a Netflix docuseries titled, This is a Robbery. 
This series delves into the intricate details of the crime, shedding light on the puzzling elements of this historic theft. It has sparked renewed interest in the case, inviting fresh theories and speculation. The stolen art, potentially still out there, could be hanging unknowingly on someone's wall, adding another layer of intrigue to the tale. Today the empty frames still hang in the museum, a haunting reminder of the world's greatest unsolved art heist. In the end, the Gardner Museum heist remains an enigma, a puzzle waiting to be solved. This mystery with its intricate web of clues has held us captive throughout our journey. From the initial shock of the heist, the detailed account of the stolen masterpieces, through to the myriad of investigations and theories, it's clear that this is a mystery that continues to captivate the world. The docuseries This is a Robbery is an excellent starting point for those who wish to delve further into this intriguing case. It provides a thorough exploration of the case's most puzzling details and offers a fresh perspective on the world of organized crime and the art market during the 80s and 90s. For a more literary take, Stealing Rembrandt's The Untold Stories of Notorious Art Heists by Anthony A. Amori and Tom Mashberg offers a deep dive into the murky world of art theft. It is a must-read for mystery enthusiasts. And let's not forget, Time Magazine's list of the 100 best mystery and thriller books of all time. It's a treasure trove for those who love a good whodunit. As we bid adieu, remember, the stolen art may still be out there, waiting to be discovered. Until next time, keep unraveling the mysteries of the world. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the world of unsolved mysteries. We hope this exploration into the enigmatic Gardner Museum heist has sparked your curiosity and deepened your appreciation for the intriguing world of art and crime. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your support allows us to continue bringing you fascinating stories from the hidden corners of the world. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more intriguing tales. We have a trove of unsolved mysteries waiting to be unveiled. As we draw to a close we encourage you to keep this spirit of exploration alive. Whether it's delving into a docuseries, diving into an engrossing book or simply embarking on your own investigation, never lose your curiosity. Remember, every mystery is a door waiting to be opened, every question, a journey waiting to be undertaken. Stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you in the next video.